Hey guys, so I'm at the Amtrak station because I'm going home for the weekend because of a family friend's wedding. And basically it took me like, so I got here really fast and it took me like 15 minutes to figure out where exactly the Amtrak part of the station was because this station combines with like the New Jersey transit train. So I figured it out, but they only release your Amtrak, like actual track, like 10 minutes before the, the train's supposed to leave. So I'm just hanging around here, but I'm excited because I'm going to be vlogging part of the wedding, like just me, you know, if, if it's a vloggable like, part, like I don't want to like, just video random stuff like when I'm there because obviously it's a wedding, but if I can, I will try and vlog. It's an Indian wedding, so it's very exciting. The wedding's only tomorrow, so today I'm just going to the DC, because I live in the DC area. I live in Northern Virginia, but I'm coming to DC, and then I'm probably just going to hang around home, get some good home-cooked food, and then Sunday, or tomorrow, we're literally leaving the house at like 6 a.m. to get to the wedding, because it's in Charlottesville, which is where UVA is, and then I'm going to drive back up with my dad, and then take the Amtrak again to come back to New York, because I have work on Monday, so it's a very busy weekend. Hey guys, so I'm in Union Square. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool shops and stuff here. It's so weird to be in DC, like literally New York to DC, and I'm gonna go back right back to New York in like a day, but um, it's pretty exciting. I have to take the metro um, for an hour to go back to like where I live. Um, it's gonna be an hour long metro ride, which is switching two trains, but I'm hoping taking the New York subway has been me an expert in transportation. Let me show you guys. Hey guys, I'm at the wedding. I literally changed and I still have to put like other stuff in my face, but yeah, it was kind of a trek to get here. I, like my dad and I got in an argument about like what directions to take and like it was such a thing, but we're here now. You know how dads are. They're like super like, like I'm right with directions. I don't need to ask anyone. I need to pull over, but whatever, we're here. Anyway, I'm going to show you the space. It's really outside and this is like the reception or like the lunch area. It's very like, I like it. It's very like, chic and beautiful. <laughs> All of them used to dress up in like, it was so cute how the entire school would dress up in it. <laughs> one one It's <laughs> where I used to work. Senate page, right right there. And we are at Union Station. Um, the wedding was great, it was amazing, but I have to go back to New York because I've worked tomorrow morning. So my uh, train actually leaves at 6.10 and I'm here like an hour early because I didn't know when the wedding was going to end. So I'm probably just going to chill here for a bit, shake shack there. It's very cool here actually. Um, if you go to this side, I'm just going to show you like this. If you go to this side, this is where like the trains all like go from and then there's also a subway, or not subway, metro on the other side. Um, and then there's a bunch of shops and stuff down here, which is super cool. Um, it's super unique, actually. It's, it's very beautiful. Like for an Amtrak station, it's very beautiful, and people sometimes come here just to like shop and not even to like take a subway or an Amtrak or anything. So that's pretty cool, and it's a great place. Like if you're like sightseeing in DC and you want like a cheap place to eat, like Union Station isn't the cheapest, but they have a lot of chain restaurants that are like obviously like reasonable. Like Shake Shack, they have McDonald's, they have Taco Bell, they have a bunch of other places too, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I just. I just love that I'm going back to New York. I get to explore again this week. I don't know. I just I feel like I just like love traveling back and forth between different places. And I think DC and New York City are very cool cities and I'm lucky that I get to explore both because I'm from the Northern Virginia area, which is super close to DC and I'm working in New York. I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating my stuff a lot, but whatever. Anyways, I don't know why I'm actually going towards the Amtrak when literally I like can wait for an hour. So I'm probably gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. Maybe like chill around here and then I'll probably vlog more on the train. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back. After trains and subways, I'm finally back in my dorm, which is great. 
Pisces. <laughs> Literally think I got allergies from the train, but it's fine. I unpacked everything. Gotta go to work tomorrow, so I need to sort of get my room settled again because I had to put a bunch of stuff from my room into my bag and bring it back. And like, it's just traveling just for two days was like weird, especially because I had to bring a lot of makeup because it was a wedding and I didn't have like two sets of stuff at home and like here. So anyway, I'm back. <sighs> I need to just like relax, go to sleep. I'm so tired. I woke up at 5 a.m. or 5 30 Yeah, basically 5 15 a.m. this morning. And then yesterday I went to bed at, like, or the day before I got into bed at like 1 30 and got up at like. 7.30, so, yeah, didn't get a lot of sleep this weekend. So, this is the ferry slip. It's very beautiful. So, we are on a boat. If you can see, this is the outdoor area for the boat. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's just very hot. So this morning I found out that my sunglasses broke like the place that you put over your ear like that stick thing I don't know what you call it broke off so now I have no sunglasses and it's great because it's actually super bright outside and I'm squinting and I can't see so it's a good win for the day and the day hasn't even started but good news I'm going to the Met which I think will be like well obviously it's indoors so that's good. Um, and I asked my friend if I can borrow an extra pair if she has one and then I'm gonna go buy and do pair of sunglasses this afternoon because unfortunately I only brought one pair to New York so I didn't expect that to break um because it was like a pretty good quality sunglasses pair of sunglasses so anyways that's just how my day is going but I think I'm wearing a cute outfit like I don't know it's like a jumper and it's super bright and I like it so I guess that's a good one for the day at least my outfit worked out but unfortunately my eyes are probably gonna go blind because I'm staring into the sunlight and I can't see anything. Hey guys, I'm, like I said before, I'm going to the Met with my friends and I'm actually here. Still haven't gotten sunglasses. I was gonna go to CVS and buy them, but then I was like, no, it's fine, it's not that sunny outside. It's gotten more cloudy here, it's gonna rain today. But yeah, let me show you this area. So this right here is the Met, the Met is huge. You won't be able to see everything in one day. This is like the area. This is the Upper East Side, so if you watch Gossip Girl, this is where Blair and Serena and all their crew eat lunch on the Met steps. Not sure if it's actually filmed there, but I know for sure that that's what it was supposed to be. socializing so <laughs> yeah we just walked to the Met or walked oh, words we yeah. just were in the Met we saw the heavenly bodies exhibit it was very beautiful kind of creepy too the fact that they had like all sensories like the music and it was cold so highly recommend if you're in the city also apparently if you're a student in New York Connecticut or New Jersey it's donation based so you don't have to pay the $25 which is good so yeah just a little review about the Met yeah. We're now going back to her apartment and then we're going to go to the pint shop, which is like an ice cream museum. It's a museum of ice cream in New York. And then we might go to Chelsea Piers after, so that should be very fun. Very excited. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> so, the pint shop long. We're told it's wait an hour to get in, so we're deciding to go after work instead of going on a weekend. So now we're pivoting, we're going to a gelato shop, the gelato shop that was my other video. Very exciting. Delicious pizza. From New York, you gotta try it. Very good. Now my vlog channel all know. It's good pizza. Hey, so I'm currently shopping for sunglasses because like I said before, my sunglasses broke and I have three that I really like. And they're all super cute. I don't know which one to choose. And then I'm looking and there's another 
bot like wall of sunglasses and they all look cute too so i'm not really sure which one looks the best but that's what i'm doing i'm also got another jumper so should be exciting times hello so i'm back not for the pint shop but my friend and i are going to get brunch do you care if you're in the video or no i don't care it's fine if you don't want to be in it okay my friend Hi. yeah we're going to brunch and as usual the pine shop line is really long so i don't know if i'm ever gonna see that but according to Brittany, it's overrated so maybe i won't go but yeah i will vlog more when i get my phone as usual i got pancakes as i've been doing for the past entire summer this looks so good almond pancakes gluten free <laughs> hey guys, so we're in Schmackery's. It's a sorry, I'm just running. We're in Schmack. Oh wait, <laughs> we're in Schmackery's. It's a cookie. It's a cookie. Um, a cookie shop, and I got the cookies and cream flavored cookie. I literally seen cookie so many times in this. That looks okay. It looks so good. I'll show you the front actually. It looks like on the back. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. This is what it looks like. There's so many cookies. They're all very fresh. I don't know if this place is really, really well known, but I guess there's a lot of people coming here, so it must be. But yeah. And you got the funfetti. I did get the funfetti, yeah. and I also got a chocolate chip to bring to work tomorrow because okay. I'm very poorly behaved this week. So okay. <laughs> not, not doing great, but it's fine. Here's a better video of the cookies. I got cookies and cream. There's chocolate chip, and that's funfetti. Okay, so we are in Times Square. So busy. Oh my god, my finger's in the way, literally. I cannot vlog. It's fine. Okay, yeah, so we're in Times Square. It's super busy, as you can see. Tons of stuff happening. Everyone's going out. We just got cookies, and I'm going back to have work tomorrow, so have to be responsible and go to bed early. There are, like, shows happening here, too, and it's, like, nighttime. This is what I like about New York. I feel like you're wearing it. It doesn't look like nighttime at all. Yeah, it's like so bright. It doesn't even feel like nighttime. Hey guys, so I'm going to Nomo Soho with my friend Lexi, the same friend Lexi that you've seen. I feel like I never show my outfits because I'm always just filming myself, but I got this really cute jumpsuit from. Um, off from like an online store and I'm super excited to show it um, but yeah I'm really excited this place will be really pretty for pictures and it's just really nice lights and it's actually a hotel so I'm not sure if there's good food there too okay so yeah I'm waiting for my friend I'm actually meeting her at the um, station and then we're gonna walk to the hotel and it basically has this really pretty um, archway that's filled with lights and I don't really know how to describe it but I'll show it when I get there um, but yeah I'm trying to do a lot of stuff after work in New York since I only have two weeks left so I'm trying to go to all these picturesque places because I've already been to a lot of like the basic spots like MoMA and Met and all these other places so I think it'd be nice to go to smaller places that are not well like not as well known but are really cool places to check out uh, so yeah this is in Soho um, it's great we're at, um, I live in Union Square which is great because it's like literally 15 20 minutes to anywhere in the city like uptown 20 minutes this is like 15 minutes my work is like 15 minutes so it's really central which is what I like about it and I can like leave at 8 30 and be back by like 9 15 and still get stuff done because it's so close um, so yeah that's just my little update I'm really getting a jumpsuit so I bought I now have five jumpsuits and I started with zero at the beginning of the year and I just like really like them because it's comfortable to sit in walk around in in New York but it also looks cute um, so I feel like with dresses it's kind of hard to maneuver around New York especially when you're just, like, switching subways and you're like walking all these different places so yeah I feel like I'm just rambling about clothes now but anyway I'm waiting for the next train so 